Hello and welcome to the adventures of Robert Wedderburn. Today we're going to be having a look at one of the most elegant animals of Africa and the tallest animal in the world, the giraffe. Giraffes are found all over Southern Africa, East Africa, with small populations in North Africa and West Africa. Giraffes' natural habitats include the African bushlands and shrublands. They spend most of their day roaming around browsing. In the wild, males can reach heights of 5.5 meters and females 4.5 meters. Giraffes don't have horns, but ossicones. These are smaller with females, while males have ossicones that are large and pronounced like horns, and often bald at the top as a result of combats with rival males. Ossicones add extra weight to the giraffe's head and also allow them to deliver a powerful blow to their opponents. Necking is the term used to describe combats held between males. These combats are strenuous and exhausting for males, and with each blow, the males aim to wear down each other. Giraffes have patch-like brown spots that cover almost the entire bodies. These patches are principally for camouflage, though the giraffe's patches also help them to thermoregulate. Surrounding each patch is a network of large blood vessels that branch off into smaller blood vessels underneath the patch. Giraffes are able to send blood to these patches so that the heat is released into the air. This helps them to control their temperature and thermoregulate and keep themselves cool in the blistering African heat. This is just one of the intriguing adaptations that giraffes have that isn't as obvious as the extremely long necks. Giraffes' necks are primarily a feeding adaptation. Their long necks allow them to reach leaves, fruits and flowers from the Vichelia tree. This combined with their long tongues means that they are able to reach foliage that other terrestrial animals are unable to reach. Their necks also help them to keep a lookout for potential predators. Even though the giraffe's neck is comparably longer to the human's neck, we both share the exact same amount of vertebrae. Giraffes have tongues that are around 45 centimeters long and are prehensile. These tongues are extremely tough and thick and enable them to browse for chelia and singalia trees and protect themselves from the sharp thorns designed to protect the trees from browsing animals. The roof of the giraffe's mouth is hardened to protect them from thorns and they also have a thick saliva to protect the tongue. Their tongues are dark blue, black and purple at the end and pink at the base. It's thought that the reason for the giraffe's darkly colored tongue is to protect them from getting sunburned. The giraffe's heart weighs a whopping 11 kilograms and is able to generate almost double the average blood pressure of any other mammal. They also have a complex blood pressure regulation system in the upper necks, which helps them to prevent excess blood flow to the brain when they lower their heads to drink water. Giraffes also have a very tight sheath of thick skin that covers their lower limbs, which helps them to maintain extra vascular pressure in the same way that a fighter jet pilot's G-suit works. For a long period of time, it was believed that there was only one species of giraffe. But over the last decade, scientists have gathered DNA samples and data from almost every major giraffe population throughout Africa. They were able to discover that there are actually three species of giraffes and five subspecies of giraffes. Giraffes only drink water every three to four days, even in areas where there's a readily available source of water. To be able to drink the water from the waterhole, it requires a bit of effort. Once they have lowered their necks, they will continue to drink water for five to 10 minutes, after which they will suddenly throw their heads back up into the air to prevent themselves falling forward into the water. This is a spectacular sight to witness in real life. These giraffes were so big that when they came down to the waterhole, all the other animals fled in panic. Their sheer size makes them very intimidating to the other more frequent visitors of the waterhole. Giraffes form social gatherings called herds or towers. Giraffe populations are declining in the wild. The total number of giraffes in the wild now is around 111,000 giraffes. On the contrary, the number of South African giraffes is estimated to be around 39,000 giraffes and they are making a steady increase each year. Giraffes are considered vulnerable in the wild and their populations are silently decreasing while many activists focus their attention on other popular species such as rhinos, leopards, lions and cheetahs. Giraffes are phenomenal animals to see in the wild and no matter how many times I've seen these gentle giants, giraffes never fail to amaze me how strong and tall they really are. Well, that's that for today. I hope that you enjoyed this documentary about giraffes. If you've got any questions about giraffes, then feel free to comment below and I'll get back to you. If you haven't already given this video a like, then give it a like, share it with a friend, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you can receive future notifications of my wildlife documentaries. And I look forward to seeing you on my next wildlife adventure.